y'all see that? That is where we are heading. We are 400 miles away from my home in Maryland. And uh, we're going back to where this channel began. I have not stepped foot here in almost 10 years. We are in Columbus, Ohio. There's Nationwide right there. Some of you who live here probably recognize exactly where I am. I am at Goodale Park. Now, this is not a fishing location per se, but we are currently charging my car, so it's gonna be about an hour. Now, if you're an OG subscriber to my channel, this was 10 years ago. You know that it started in Philadelphia, but shortly after that, one year later, I moved to Ohio where I lived for about two years or so, shall we say. I'm gonna post some of my Ohio videos right here. If you haven't seen them, please check out a couple of them. Now, I'm gonna be filming the next few videos right here, and we are gonna be doing a one rod, one reel challenge tomorrow. But today I figured, why not hit a few of my old spots and uh, see what's been going on in Ohio. We are gonna kill a little time and, okay. So there are fish in here. I have not been to this location in literally 10 years. I've actually never fished here. This is a little ornamental pond, which uh, I'm pretty sure is not for fishing. Although there are no, no fishing signs. Now this water is crystal clear. It actually has a weird bluish green stain to it. This is a whole pond, one side or the other, not very big. I see some gills. Are there any bass in here? Why don't we go ahead and uh, try to find out. Oh, there's number one. Wait a second. There, wait, that's a freaking trout. Who in their right mind is stocking fish to eat in this little fountain pond? That makes no sense. This is literally a fountain pond. Why would you put trout in here? That's freaking crazy, dude. That's fish number one on the Ohio Sand. Let him go. I fell victim to the Guggen inline spinner. Still doesn't have a name yet. This is our prototype. First one ever made as a matter of fact. Eighth of an ounce. Throwing it on the Guggen 1000 gold series reel. And of course, my micro light rod. Perfect combination for any small game fish. And apparently we've got some uh, small trout in here, which that was probably the last fish I expected to see out of this little pond. I see a bajillion bluegill. Oh, that right there, that's a two pound. That's a two pound bass right in front of me. It's actually hunting gills right now. There's no way it's gonna bite this. There's no way. Ah, oh, it, it completely ignored my bait. Wait, there seems to be a little bit of action. Th that's a four pound bass right here. You're freaking kidding me. That is a four pound bass right in front of me. Guys, this pond has some absolute tanks. And I don't, remember, I don't remember ever seeing this kind of fish 10 years ago, I'm not gonna lie. I used to walk out here all the time, enjoy the beautiful scenery, have some picnics. I guess in the last 10 years, they, uh, they, pumped, they pumped some fish in here. Dude, this is absolutely wild. If we can actually get one of these fish to commit. Uh, let's try a different bait. Come on, Stop what you're doing right now. Guggen Squad is having our biggest sale of the year fishing Black Friday going on May 18th through 28th. Here's what we got. Baits as low as $3, $5 hats, terminal up to 75% off, apparel up to 75% off, and tackle bags and toters 50% off. Use code ONERod at GuggenSquad.com. Get yourself some amazing deals. I think I have an idea, guys. It's a little bit crazy, but might just be crazy enough to work on these bass. I have, I'm not even sure if people fish out here, so I'm not sure if they're highly pressured or zero pressure, but so far the bass have not been willing to bite. We're gonna grab out a 16th ounce Guggen jig head right here. Ideally, I'd like a more natural colored one. Let's see if I have one with me. Uh, let's do the old dumperoo here. Time is of the essence. Got about 
45 minutes left and it's time to get back in the car, go to the next destination. Here's what we're gonna go with. We're gonna go with a 2.8 inch saucy swimmer. All right, we're in business, boys. This should be a perfect imitation of the little gills that are swimming around. Uh, the issue is that when there's this much forage in there, it's natural forage, it's hard to compete and find a hungry bass because these bass essentially have, I mean, there's probably like a hundred gills for every one bass. So the question is, how do I get that bass to commit to my artificial bait? I, I see one on a bed. Dude, that's a two pounder on a bed. What's the water temp here? We're in Ohio. Well, that's pretty warm. It feels like 70 degrees. I'm, I'm pretty sure this bass is on a bed. I'm gonna stay way back, drop the bait on it. I've got a visual on it. This is absurd. This is absurd, dude. Oh, he's on it, he's on it. Come on, come on, baby. One time, she's nosing it. She's nosing it. Oh, it's stuck on some grass. That tail is flickering right in her face, though. I'm gonna give it one pop and she might inhale it. Check this out, guys. No, oh, I freaking told it. I told you guys. I freaking told you. This has gotta be the biggest, oh, damn it. That was probably the biggest fish in this entire ornamental pond. Dude, that fish legit might be close to three pounds. She's right there. I can still see her. She just chased away another bass. I'm gonna get my other GoPro. We're gonna get some underwater shots and then we're gonna come back and see if we can't get her to bite again. Hi right, guys, I've retrieved my GoPro. We're gonna try to sneak up on this fish and get an underwater shot of hopefully me catching it. We'll see. Yeah, this is definitely the deepest part of the pond. Very rocky. I mean, I'm gonna get you guys. Oh yeah, the, the fish is still right here. Check this out, guys. Oh, look at look at underwater. Look at what we're dealing with here. This is literally looks like an ornamental pond. Oh, the fish is coming over to check me out. This bass is actually curious about me sticking the GoPro. She came from five feet away. She's all the way over here now. All right, that. I'm not sure if that's a good sign or a bad sign. She's still coming up to me. Still coming over here. I, she might be, she, I, I can freaking hand, I can net her with my net at this point. I might actually, dude, she's literally checking out my GoPro. I'm gonna freaking net her. I'm gonna slowly, I've never netted a bass. That's a three pounder right here. That's literally a three pounder. I'm gonna try to net her. Here we go. Oh, she's scared. She knows. All right. So the fish, she's right there. She's catchable. She's not an idiot though. This will be a good challenge. Good challenge, first time in Ohio in 10 years. This is perfect. I accept your challenge, Bass. Let's see who's gonna win. You or one rod? All right, I've waited two minutes. GoPro's in. I've got four different bait options. I'm pretty sure one of these four will be able to get her to bite again. I think she's onto us though, so we can't get too careless. Let's try to carefully present our bait in a manner that won't, oh, she's right there. She's, she's right by the GoPro. Dude, she likes freaking GoPros. Loves being on camera. All right, Saucy's in the nest again. Uh, I think, she, did she swim off? That's a, oh, she kind of swam off a little bit. She's a little spooked. She definitely got a little spooked. I'm pretty sure I know the area of her bedding, but yeah, she's definitely a little spooked. This could get tricky, guys. All right, we're gonna test the intelligence of Bass a little bit. She was clearly way too smart to hit the saucy again. So you know what? I'm gonna grab this little dupe tube right here. Throw it right in front of her, see what her reaction is. It's kind of like a science experiment, so to speak. Because she's actually been caught. She's directly on her bed again, so she's still guarding it. Kind of, I think she can see me. She might be checking out the GoPro too. All right, we got a very quiet presentation. She's slowly dropping it in. This is a completely different presentation. She's not swimming away. That's a good sign. She did not swim away yet. I'm slowly working onto her bed. She's looking at it. She's looking at it. I'm gonna. I'm twitching, it's currently caught on weeds, just like the saucy. I'm aggressively twitching it. 
I think she's looking at it. I'm gonna pop it off. Last time she ate it when I popped it off. Let's see what. Let's see if she runs away when I pop it off this time. Popped it. She did not swim away. That's a good sign. Different profile, completely different profile. Now she's moving, but she's not swimming away. All right, guys. Ohio bass one, one rod, zero. Ugh. Ah, could not get that fish to bite. We're gonna make one loop around the pond and we'll, we'll give her one more shot before we head out. Let me show you guys the amount of forage that we're dealing with in this pond right here. Just piles and piles of gills, all different sizes. I mean, the bass in here are definitely eating very well. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, we saw a three pounder. There could easily be a five pounder in here just buried in this grass post spawn. You never know. Only one way to find out. Let's walk around the pond and uh, see what happens. That's another, another big bass on the bed. Another freaking giant. Oh, <laughs> she ate it right off the bat. Oh yeah, not a giant. That's a solid fish. Dude, these fish are in full spawn mode. That is a solid two pound chunk. All right, we're gonna play her. I ain't losing another fish today, boys. We are not messing around here. I'm landing at least one out of Ohio. Whew. Cannot get skunked my first session. We are dealing with six pound monofilament right here. So we are going to pull out the net, work the fish in. She absolutely destroyed the dupe tube. Gotcha! Woo! That feels freaking good. Have not caught a bass this big from Ohio in a decade. A little less than two pounds. Absolute beauty. Choked the dupe tube. I'm gonna grab a picture for Insta. Picks are good. Let's get the release. Oh man, that's absolutely beautiful. That's exactly where you want to hook them. Top of the mouth. She wasn't going anywhere. Let's go ahead and get her right back on our bed. You guys can see the bed right there, as a matter of fact. So we're just gonna flop her right there. Swimming off, she's right back on it. Right there, that sandy patch. What they do, they clear out all the grass and silt and leaves or whatever. They want a sandy, little bit of pebbles, bottom type bottom. That's where they're gonna lay their eggs and hopefully she'll have a nice spawn this year. Now, with that being said, I think we need to check the water temperatures because I'm not from here. Every state, the bass will spawn at slightly different temperatures. Because we are in Ohio, I'm gonna put my thermometer into the water here. And uh, let's go ahead and check to see what we are dealing with in terms of uh, water temps. All right, put that right there. Wait 30 seconds. That should be good. Uh, thermometer out. I mean, the water feels a little over 70 if I had to guess. We are dealing with 70 degree water on the dot. Woo, all right, that's pretty interesting. We've only gone about a quarter of the way around the pond. Let's uh, walk the whole way around and uh, see if we can find some more fish. How big was the bass you just caught? It was like a pound and a half, not, not too bad. I, uh, I haven't been here in 10 years. I actually, there. oh, there's a couple nice bass. I've, I, there were no big bass in here when I was last here. Oh, really? Yeah, I used to live here. So I'm just on a, uh, a little trip right now for my YouTube channel. Oh, what's your YouTube channel? It's uh, One Rod, One Real Fishing. One Rod, One Real Fishing? Yeah, if you type in One Rod on YouTube, I'll come right, be come right up. All right, bet. I'm going to look it up right now. I appreciate that, man. How many subscribers? 1.5 million. There you go. Damn. Uh, 1.5 million? Yeah, I appreciate that, man. I got you. I got you. Oh, this, oh, about to get... I got another one. There's another one right here. Let's go. Dude, these fish are in full spawn mode, guys. Woo! You guys fish? Uh, no, not really. I do a little bit. You do a little bit? Bro, you might have to catch the next fish. These fish, literally, they're spawning, so I'm putting the right bait right in front of them. There, you can catch them like that. Really? If I can find another one, I'll get you on the next one, bro. Okay, let me get, let me re-rig right here. Bass number two. At a, this is Goodale Park, isn't it? Is this Goodale yeah, Park? Yeah, Goodale Park. All right, Goodale Park Pond is where we're at right now, guys. I'm gonna get another dupe tube out from the bag. This bait is like freaking magic. I mean, just look at the profile. Get that rigged up on a 16th ounce jig head. Perfect combination. What's your name, bro? Yeah, what's your name? Michael. Michael, nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you. I'm gonna look for a fish. 
And if I can find one, let's try to get you to catch one, bro. All right, all right, let's, let's... I fished in like two years. Two years? All two right. Two years. All right, if we can find one, like just like those other two, it should be no problem to catch one. Bro, get over here. It's time, bro. Do you know how to cast a fishing rod, first of all? And you mind if I film? I'm for my uh, channel? I don't care to okay, film. Appreciate it. How do I cast it? So, how to, you can hold you can hold it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. go ahead and flip that up. This is gonna release the line. Okay. So look, line comes right down. So yeah, go okay. now now you close it back up, close it. Okay. Now you can reel the line back up. Alright. Alright. So what you do in order and hold it uh, hold it like this. Hold it like this. So what you do is you have to hold the line with that one finger and lift that up. And you lift that up. Yep. And now I want you to do a practice cast. Do a practice cast over there. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Yeah, flip it back. Yep, and now you can start reeling. You reel it reel it back in. Oh yeah, you're on some weed. That's okay though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So go ahead and get that back in. I'll set. I'll reset it for you. Dude, look, those bass are oh, going yeah, crazy. I just, what it, I just seen that one. Yeah. So there's a bass over there. So what you're gonna have to do? In fact, just leave your line like that. I think you can just drop it right onto them, and I think they will bite. Damn, she moved. Dude, that bass came. Oh, she's coming back. Oh, she's coming, that's the fish right there. Drop it. You see? Oh, oh so wait. So what she's doing is she's protecting her nest. So we're gonna wait until she gets back over. Her nest is right over here. So you can come over here, bro. So so we're gonna wait to see when, we're gonna see when she stops. When she stops, that's when she'll be ready to protect her. And she's very aggressive. Mm -hmm. So why don't we let let out a little more line? Go ahead, op open that up. Open that up. Yeah. And go ahead, close it back up now. All right. See the fish right there? Do you see, oh put on the glasses? Put on the glasses. Yeah, the fish is right there in front of you. Let me know if you see her. It's about a one pound bass. Do you see her right in front of you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see her, yeah I see her. Drop that bait about three inches in front of her nose. So get a little closer. She's fine. Yeah, these yeah, fish yeah. are used to people. Yeah, drop it, drop it all the way down. Yeah, right there. Drop it all the way down, and just yeah. Oh, she's coming to it. Now jiggle it a little. Make it look like it's like eating her eggs. Cause that's, that's right around where her nest is. Uh, she's she's looking at it. Oh, you, she turned away. So this fish is going to be a little trickier than my last one, but yeah, yeah, go ahead and yeah, go ahead and work it around her. See if you can get her to bite. So do you see that uh, circular spot she's on right now? That oh, circle? Yeah, 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 That's yeah. her nest. So if you can get the bait on there, she's going to be more likely to attack the bait. So see if you can't drop that bait onto that circle where that circular rock to the left. You see that circular rock to the left? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let's try to get over there. Yeah, I can't even see her no more. Yeah, I think, I think she moved off. So we might have to look for another fish, honestly. That one <laughs> that one was a little tricky. So yeah, I'll hold, I'll take this. I'm gonna look for another fish. All right, you're good. I'll call you over if I see one. That one was a little tricky. <laughs> good try, man. Appreciate you. No problem. Sorry guys, good big fish right here. Large mouth bass. She's on it, got her. Let's go. Sorry, Gio, I'll get you the next one. Another one pounder. She's hiding right along the wall. Guys, this pond, absolute fire. Woo! Oh no! She broke off. Don't let I get the hook out. Ah! Okay, hook's out. Hook's out. Woo! Woo! Got another one, guys. Ohio, I still got it. Guys, we got the Ohio fishing forums. If you watch it, one rod is back. And we're back with a vengeance. Ah. Fish number three or four, I'm not sure. Another one falls victim to the Guggen Squad Dube Tube. Be sure to check out the Black Friday sale, code one rod. I'd really appreciate it. Guys, straight up, that is why if you see water, you need to at least try to cast a bait in. This is an ornamental park pond and we are smashing bass. Have, I've never fished here. I've literally walked around this park probably 50 times. I mean, there's a tennis course over there. This is where I usually used to play tennis when I lived in Columbus. I'm just in awe. I can't believe I never threw a line earlier. I, pro I don't know what was in here before because the water is actually murky 10 years ago. It's obviously completely different. I cannot wait to see what happened to all the other bodies of water that I used to fish a decade ago. It's going to be awesome. Stay with me. This is going to be a very fun series.